Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you for joining me for today's video which is going to be a review of my first purchase from the French brand, Cezanne. In today's video, I'm going to try on each of the pieces. I'll be talking about the fabric and fit and also looking at different styling options. Additionally, I'll be talking about how I feel wearing each of the pieces as well and my initial thoughts on my first purchase experience with Cezanne. I really hope you all enjoyed today's video. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below and if you do enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really does help small creators like myself. So for my first time purchasing from Cezanne, I decided to play it a little bit safe and pick up some really classic pieces which I felt would blend in seamlessly with my current wardrobe and which are also representative of my own sense of personal style. And I'm going to start off with the piece which I love the absolute most and it is the James Jumper. So there were a few things that attracted me to the James Jumper as soon as I saw it online. The first thing being it is a very Breton inspired design. So we've got the cream or ecru background here and then the horizontal navy stripes. I'm a total Francophile, I'm studying French at the moment so anything French or Parisian inspired is definitely right up my alley. The second reason why I decided to purchase the James Jumper is because the fabric it's made from wool. I definitely need to stock up on some knitwear pieces because we're in winter here in Australia and I felt confident that this would keep me warm. And another thing that I thought was really nice about the jumper is the fact that it's got four different buttons almost in a sort of tortoiseshell effect. Um, and they've got gold on the side as well. So I just thought this was a really nice and different design detail for the jumper. And I also loved the fact that there's a slight balloon sleeve and we've got ribbed cuffs and a ribbed hemline as well. So moving on to the fabric, the James jumper is 100% merino wool and it is made in Italy. Now there is the mention on the fabric composition tag that there is polyester and that actually relates to the backing material for the buttonholes. The garment itself, apart from the backing, is 100% merino wool. I was incredibly surprised when this arrived and I opened it up. Just how substantial it feels. I would say this is probably a medium to heavy weight knit. Um, the fabric itself, like you can tell, there's just so much quality in this fabric. It's incredibly well made and it doesn't feel itchy or scratchy. You know how with some types of knitwear, it can just leave you with that really uncomfortable feeling. The James Jumper doesn't do that. This is just an incredibly beautifully designed and well-made jumper. Now in terms of fit, I purchased mine in the extra small size. I also wanted to ensure that I had a little bit of room underneath. I didn't want it to be too form-fitting because I can definitely see that I will be wanting to wear a thermal layer underneath this jumper, especially when we get into the middle of winter, just for that added extra warmth. But I just feel, yeah, this is the, the perfect size for me and I feel that this is true to size as well. When it comes to styling, I can definitely see myself pairing this jumper with a pair of dark blue jeans for the weekend or a pair of navy trousers for the office. I just think having the dark blue jeans or trousers would really offset the navy blue horizontal stripe in the knit really beautifully. Um, I can see myself just wearing this with a pair of jeans so having the front tucked in um, just to give the waist a little bit of definition from the front and then probably wearing it a little bit looser at the back potentially. And so lastly, moving on to how I actually feel about the piece, I'm totally in love with it. As I mentioned, this is my favourite out of the first purchase items that I've made from Cezanne. I think that the quality of it, it's better than what I expected. The feel of the material is lovely. I love the design as I mentioned, I think that this is definitely worth the price that I paid for it and yeah, just really, really pleasantly surprised with this jumper. This does also come in a dark green colorway, which is available online at the moment. So I'll link both of these below in case you're interested in checking them out. But yeah, just absolutely in love with this piece. I can definitely see this becoming a winter wardrobe hero of mine for many years to come. 
Okay, so moving on to the second piece that I purchased. It is a pair of jeans. These are the Brute Sexy in the blue denim colorway. And this is actually the first pair of jeans that I've ever purchased online. I feel jeans can be notoriously tricky to get right unless you're in store. So I decided to actually take a gamble with these and purchase these from Cezanne because I currently only have one other pair of dark blue jeans which I feel fits me really well. They're in a skinny leg style with an exposed button fly whereas these are in a straight leg style. Obviously we've got the covered fly here so a little bit different and that's what inspired me to actually go ahead and purchase this pair of jeans. So when it comes to the fabric of these jeans, these are 99% organic cotton and GOTS certified. They have a 1% elastane composition and they're made in Morocco. So given the fact that they are 99% organic cotton with 1% elastane, what that essentially means is there is not a lot of stretch to these jeans. So you really want to make sure that you get the fit right in these. However, having said that, I don't think that that really is such a big deal for me personally. I don't mind the fact that they're a little bit stiffer, especially because I can see myself wearing these a lot during winter and autumn as well. So I think if you're after a pair of jeans sort of for the warmer season, such as spring or possibly even summer, depending upon where you live, these might not be the right choice for you. But for me personally, I like the way that the fabric actually feels. It doesn't feel too stiff or scratchy. Um, and I can definitely tell that they're going to keep me warm during winter time. So moving on to fit with these jeans, I did purchase mine in a size 25. However, I have actually ordered the size 24 online as well and that will be arriving soon because I'm just not 100% sure. So in terms of the actual fit of the jeans, there is a little bit of excess fabric around the bum area. It's nothing noticeable. Um, there is definitely too much excess fabric around my waist area. So that is sort of the, the reason why I thought I'll try on the smaller size and see how I go with that. So if I do another Suzanne um, try on or review video, then I'll give you guys an update. In terms of styling, I can see myself tucking my tops or blouses or knitwear in at the front if I can, just because they are a high-waisted style and just to give myself that little bit of extra definition. And for winter, I will definitely be wearing these a lot. And I think obviously paired with the James jumper, it would make a really lovely and very Parisian inspired combo. So lastly, how do I feel about the Brute Sexy jeans? Well, aside from the fact that I probably haven't gotten the size right, I actually really, really love these jeans. I love the way that they look. So the design of them, the high waist with the straight leg. I think the color is beautiful. It's exactly what I was expecting it would be. And in terms of the fabric being 99% cotton, they don't feel like too stiff. The fabric feels really nice. It does have some softness to it, despite the fact it is overtly cotton. And yeah, just a, a beautiful pair of jeans. I also love the fact that we also have the button fly, which is covered at the front as well. Definitely a quality feel and look to these jeans. And I would say that these are certainly worth the price I paid for them. The last piece in my Cezanne review, it is the Colette Marinia. And I purchased this in the Ecru and Navy colorway. So there were a few reasons um, which I thought I needed to have this in my wardrobe. The first one being similar to the James Dropper, it's in a very um, French or Parisian inspired design. I also really loved the fact that we've got the two little navy buttons here and they have a little bit of gold gold trim on the edges. So I thought that was a really lovely design detail as well. I thought this just seemed like a really lovely top to have in my wardrobe. So a really good staple which has a lot of versatility. So moving on to the fabric composition, this is 100% organic cotton and it is made in Portugal. Now I will say one of the only drawbacks for me when it comes to the Colette Marinia is the fact that it doesn't actually feel as soft as what I would like. Having said that, it doesn't detract from the beauty or the design. 
that's just probably a personal preference for me. It doesn't feel scratchy against the skin or, or itchy, it just doesn't have that sort of soft texture I guess that like what the James Trump has. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. In terms of the colour of this fabric, it did come out a little bit darker than what I expected it to from seeing the photos online. So the Ecru or the cream background is actually darker in real life than what the photos look on the Cezanne website. So that's just something to keep in mind if you are considering purchasing this top. In terms of fit for this top, I decided to actually size it down and I got the extra, extra small. Um, and I am glad I did that because I feel like this is quite a boxy sort of fit on me. I do generally tend to prefer more tailored pieces um, and this is quite a boxy cut. So I think that um, I did step out of my comfort zone when it comes to this, um, but I'm glad that I actually sized down. So if you are looking for a closer fit, I'd suggest size down, otherwise go with your normal size for this one. Now when it comes to styling this top, again, similar to the James jumper, I can see myself pairing this with jeans for the weekend or trousers for the office. I also think this piece would work really well with a skirt as well. So I think this would look nice with a pencil skirt for the office or even a pleated skirt as well. Um, I will definitely be wearing this tucked in just because I don't like the way that it looks for me when it's untucked. But again, depending upon your personal styling preference and what works for you. Um, but yeah, I think that this is just such a versatile top. Um, definitely one that can be styled in a lot of different ways and um, you can really put your own personal stamp on how you want to style this in your wardrobe. And lastly, how do I feel in the Colette Marinier? Um, I'm still on the hunt for my perfect Marinier top, to be honest. This is a very, very good option. But as I mentioned throughout the video, I think that, you know, little things for me personally, like the feel of the fabric, the sort of the Ecru colorway, and the boxiness of the top, they're little things that um, I probably don't feel as comfortable with. So maybe I just sort of need to go out of my comfort zone a little bit. I'll be keeping it, seeing how it works with my style. Don't think this is my forever Marinier, but until I find the forever one, this is the one that I've got. So rating my overall first experience with Cezanne, I'd say I am incredibly happy with these pieces. Just the, the quality is there and I feel like I've actually gotten what I've paid for, which is always a good thing. Um, I also think the delivery, it came super fast. So from Paris to Sydney within less than a week, that was great. And I really love how they have a focus on sustainability. So they list out um, you know, where their products are certified from and you can also see where they're made as well. So they seem to be very transparent, which I think is a great thing. So yeah, definitely very, very happy with my first purchase. And I hope that you have enjoyed this video, particularly if you are a fan of the brand or if you are thinking about making your first purchase, but you're a little bit on the fence. So hopefully you have found some some inspiration or useful tips here today. If you did like today's video, I'd love it if you'd give it a thumbs up because that really does help me. And I'd also love it if you would subscribe to my channel because I'd love to have you here as part of my community on YouTube. Thanks again for watching everyone. I hope you have an amazing weekend and I'll see you next weekend with a brand new video. Bye.